What's up guys, Derek, more platesmoreneats.com. Today I'm going to explain quickly why being fat lowers your testosterone levels. So you always hear people say, you wanna increase your testosterone, just get lean, but they don't explain why. And I'm just gonna explain why, because maybe it might, you know, for somebody who needs the motivation to lose weight, this might and maybe would otherwise go on TRT and they may not even need TRT to begin with because they're just too fat. Listen up, because this is a scientific explanation of why getting lean will help you produce more testosterone. So aromatase, it is found in fat. So the more fat you have, the more aromatase you have, which is the enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen. The way your body determines how much testosterone to produce, it works via negative feedback. So I'm sure you've heard of the HPTA, negative feedback, the feedback loop, the blah, 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 but no one really explains how this feedback loop really works. They kind of just think, oh, you produce testosterone and then there's some sort of function that like tells your brain we don't need more tests. So we turn it off. But what they don't understand is that it's the estrogen that provides the negative feedback. So how your body tells your body to stop producing tests is determined by your estrogen essentially. So if you have more fat on your body, you have more estrogen conversion. So if you produce a certain amount of tests, and you're fatter, you're going to produce more estrogen than you would normally if you were leaner. So the ratio of estrogen to testosterone becomes more disproportionately favored towards estrogen the more fat you are. The problem with that isn't inherently in the estrogen value itself, it's more that your body has that negative feedback to understand when it needs to stop producing testosterone and that negative feedback is provided by the estrogen. So if you have more fat on your body, you produce more estrogen. Now that you have more estrogen, that means you hit that threshold amount where it sends the signal to your body telling you we have enough estrogen, we don't need any more. The way your body makes estrogen is via aromatization from testosterone. So the net result of being fat is having more estrogen, giving negative feedback to your body earlier than it would otherwise essentially, thus telling your body, don't produce any more testosterone because we have enough estrogen. So your body sees, oh, we have enough estrogen so we don't need more testosterone to produce the estrogen we need because we have more than enough estrogen. You see what I'm saying? So it's like the leaner you are, the less estrogen you're going to have relative to your test, meaning your body has to pump out more test to hit that amount of estrogen you need. So it's like the fatter you get, proportionately the less testosterone you're going to produce, essentially, because you're going to have more aromatase, meaning more estrogen, meaning hitting negative feedback sooner than you would otherwise if you were 10% body fat versus 20% body fat. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, the body responds to low estrogen by producing testosterone. And this is why if you use an aromatase inhibitor and you inhibit the aromatase enzyme, what does your body do in response to that? It increases your testosterone production. The reason being because you have not enough estrogen. So your body is tricked into thinking we need to pump out more tests to make enough estrogen. This, the opposite applies when you have more aromatase. We're too fat now. So we have, a way, we have more than enough estrogen. So we don't need to produce as much test. In fact, we can decrease the testosterone production because we don't need this much estrogen. Do you see what I'm saying? So, and I'm not saying you should use an aromatase inhibitor to produce more tests. That's definitely not the case at all because you can't just indiscriminately inhibit aromatase expression in random tissues in your body and expect it to have no deleterious outcomes. It's definitely not recommended. What is recommended though is becoming insulin sensitive and getting lean. That is what I recommend because the less fat you have, the less aromatase you will have, which results in lower estrogen levels, which results in the negative feedback via your HPTA not occurring, you know, in a suboptimal way where it's disproportionately favored to, we need to reduce our testosterone production to not have this much estrogen essentially. So you don't want your brain to be tricked into thinking it has satisfactory endogenous hormone production when in fact it does not, which is essentially what you're doing if you're too fat. And this also ties in with insulin resistance and how it drives down SHBG and can influence this feedback too. But in general, that is what you need to understand about the connection between being too fat and lower testosterone levels. So before you assume I need to get on gear and test or TRT or whatever, if you're 20, 
5% body fat, your 30% body fat, see what your test levels are at when you get down to 12, 13%, you gain some muscle and you get insulin sensitive because it could make a world of difference. So a lot of people think that they're just, you know, their balls just aren't working. And it's not really the case. It's more so, well, it may be, but I mean, in some cases, it's just that you have processes being inhibited just simply because of your body composition. So keep that in mind. Thank you guys for watching. Please uh, drop a comment, helps the algorithm. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at more plates, underscore more dates. Follow me on Facebook. I don't know how many of you are, are still on Facebook, but the organic reach there sucks ass. So if you can follow me there, that'd be cool. Um, Twitter, TikTok, BitChute, Apple Podcasts. I might've missed one. Um, Snapchat. <laughs> I don't I have a fuck, there's so many. But uh, anyway, all of those, if you're on any of them, follow me, that'd be cool. Apple Podcasts, if you drop a five-star rating, it helps there too for the algorithm. If you wanna support the channel, check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. If you are somebody who's already tried optimizing your test levels and you've gotten lean, you've gained muscle, you have a perfect diet, you've checked it out in chronometer, you have no micronutrient deficiencies, you are otherwise a healthy individual, and you still need TRT, then check out my TRT clinic, link in the description below, and uh, they'll take a look at your situation, get your bloods done. They actually have uh, competent patient care coordinators who actually watch my content and actually understand it, which is you know more than I can say about 99% of these other companies. And um, it definitely is uh, something to get on board with if you are somebody seeking a high level of testosterone replacement therapy with actual oversight from people who know what they're talking about. And then when you talk to the doctor and you end up getting your prescription, you can get $50 off of your first order of medication with the coupon code MPMD50. It's in the description below if you want to check it out, as well as my nootropic and pre-workout formulas. Nootropics essentially for productivity, focus, sort of like a more <laughs> realistic and practical version of NC, NZT48 from Limitless. It's more like, I don't know what to compare it to, but that is probably the most famous like nootropic smart drug movie. But anyways, it's not as insane as that, but if you're somebody looking to maximize mental clarity, sharpness, focus, energy, productivity, this is the top of the industry product for that purpose. You know, students, um, entrepreneurs, just anybody who's working pretty much, um, editing, late night editing, um, stuff like that, anything productivity based essentially, reading even, stuff like that. Um, as in the pre-workout, obviously that's self-explanatory. If you already use pre-workout, just pull out your current pre, compare the label to mine, and you'll see why I promote it so heavily. I truly believe it is the top of the industry. And I literally sit on a Word document and write these out from scratch to ensure that they are. Those are the two main things that support the channel as well as anything else I'm associated with too is underneath those in the description below as well. So thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.